Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are how old are how old are you now? Baby. Happy birthday. What's this? What's this nonsense, Kyra? Shut up! You know I do not appreciate birthdays. What is this madness? You've got some nasty attitude. Now think this ugly looking cake out of my room. Leave! Lisa, what's going on? Oh, I see. The mastermind behind every nonsense. You know me too well, Jane. You know there's nothing special about that days. Why are you putting ideas in this young lady's head? Why are you making her to do stupid things? Why? Lisa, what is going on? I don't understand you anymore. You are my favorite cousin. And I remember when we were a child, you always loved birthdays. So what changed? Tell me. What, what did she do wrong? The only thing I need to say to you is that. You should take this girl, your cake, and leave. Oh no, you brought the cake, right? Take it yourself. Take the cake and go! Look, I need to sleep. Lisa. Go! Was that really necessary? It's almost work time. I need to sleep. Take your trash and leave. Don't try this nonsense again. Oh my God, my baby. Up, 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 up. Sorry. Come here. Honey, it's okay. All those things your mother said, she didn't mean them. Hmm? That's a lie. She's always like this every year. Why does mommy hate me so much? Oh, sweetheart, don't say that. She doesn't hate you. Why would she do that? She's a mother. I don't <sighs> like her. Oh, honey, you don't have to say that. She does not hate you. I don't like her. You don't have to say that. Hmm? You don't have to say you don't like your mother. Should I tell you a secret? Hmm? Okay. The other day, your mother and I were talking, like we were playing a game, and I asked your mother, who is your favorite person in the entire world? Guess who she said? Who? Kaira Chukwu. So you see, she does not hate you. Then why did she push me away just now? Oh, baby. You know, I think because the company is not going on well, and you know mom loves to work a lot, and she doesn't sleep well in the night. She's trying to figure out how to make the company work and all that. You know what it means? She didn't get enough sleep. Exactly. So you see, she does not hate you. Hmm? Can you remember you wanted to surprise mom with a cupcake, which you've started already? So why not finish it tonight with a party? Hmm? So will that make you happy? Very happy. As long as that is happy. And you too. <laughs> Come on. 
kami. <laughs> Sam, do you ever call those thousand watts pros a report? Where are the numbers? How many times have I told you, Sam, that I'd rather do numbers than the report? What is wrong with you? Do not make me repeat myself again. Hey, Bob. Change my tomorrow flight to the sea, then, please. I'm not asking, Bob. Hello, Bob. Can you maintain our flight for tomorrow? Because tonight is our birthday and she don't like to miss it. Oh yes, thank you. What the hell is wrong with you? You just heard me. Tonight is your birthday and courtesy of your daughter and we don't want you to give us any silly excuses. Have you gone crazy or what? No! No! That question should go to you. Have you gone crazy or what? Every single year, every fucking year, this is what you do. We don't think it if your action is going to affect anybody or not. You don't. Everything is about you. Jane! Don't, Jamie. Don't. 3 a.m. Your daughter woke me up that she wants to beg a cake for her precious mother. We needed to have seen the happiness and dedication in her face. But what did she get? You threw it into her face. You don't care if she's going to feel bad or not. What has she done wrong? Tell me. What has she done wrong? All she wants to do is just to make her mother happy. And you can't even appreciate that for a minute. Why are you punishing the innocent child for a crime she never committed? Tell me. Why is she paying for the crime that she never committed? Tell me why. What is that crime? Now you go tell her that there will be no party tonight. Whatever thing you're planning is useless. Do not, I repeat, do not ever talk to me like this again. Lisa, no. Lisa. Good morning, Mr. Spur. Good morning. Don't even ask me about. Don't even ask me about my night right now, Mister. Good, good morning, ma. You're late. Yes, ma. I'm very, very sorry, ma. The traffic was terrible today. Not to talk about the food I ate last night that made me pause all through the night. I'm very sorry, ma. It won't happen again. Come today, you're lucky. Dear. The next time this happens, you're fired. Yes, ma. Oh, we've got. Get me on hold to the chairman's office now. Yes, ma'am. Hello, good morning, sir. Yeah, this is Zen Soporu, Ms. Adosa's assistant. Yes, sir, please hold on. Hi, Douglas, good morning. Yes, please, keep the pleasantries. A quick one. Get me a hold to the chairman. Yeah, I need a sit with the chairman. Listen, do not tell me it's impossible. I know companies you've done this for. Thank you, I owe you one.
we have we have a meeting with the chairman by three days. Okay, ma'am. Take out your gum. Reduce your lipstick. You look like a witch. for you ma'am. I know. And I believe you know what to do with them. I didn't want to ask you why all this were here. Well, there was nothing new. You tried a few tricks here and there, but not impressive. You're lucky Gideon wasn't here, or else you'd be handing in another report in the next 12 hours. Uh, are you saying that I should get another report right? I am saying that you should respect yourself and do your job properly. What is this? Oh, like seriously, what is this? What is what? Jay, we had one hot steamy night together. I mean, you were rocking me. And then the next minute, we are strangers. Is this... Are, are, you, are you serious? When is this going to stop? When you realize what this is and stop giving it more labels than it already has. <sighs> Come on, Jay. You know, you know what we have here? About today's presentation, hands off. You need to run an independent evaluation on those properties so we can see what we have on black and white. How about I don't do it? You know how much I hate that part of the job. How about you do as you're told, Miss Williams? I wasn't asking. Seriously? Jay! I always know how to put my mood off. I'll catch you. Stupid, stupid girl. Hell. Hey, babe. How are you doing? Come on, you know it's not like that. Of course I love you. Tell you what, I'm coming with someone tonight, so why don't we find him a suitable <sighs> company? Sweetie, 
Please don't mind him. His company for tonight just bailed. Babe, let me call you right back. Dude, what the hell? Why would you bail on me last minute? I don't understand. I, I can't remember concurring to your idea of a date in the first place. That's by the way. I would want you to stand in for me. Yes, I was supposed to have a meeting with the director of Spaxton at three. But I'm having another with an important personnel. And this is actually the first time she's at green on a lunch. So please don't mess it up. Seriously, you want me to do what? Yeah, you told me she's the devil. She's difficult. And highly irritating. Thanks for reminding me as if I've never met her before. Look, the answer is no. But I'll tell you what you can do though. Why don't you move? No, 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 Jesse, this is not happening. You and I know what's happening in this company and how much we need this to work. Don't mess it up. I didn't agree to standing in for you. Oh, that's your business. But I have to tell you, Jason, you need to keep your pants zipped, especially from the girls in this office. I haven't done anything. The walls have ears. I wasn't asking. Get out! Oh, please, you can't. I'm sorry, but you, you, you can't. Get, get out! I'm so get out of my way! Stop I'll take it up from here. Okay, ma'am. Just who the hell do you think you are to make the decisions you need? What's your deal? Go straight to the point. I do not have much time. You must be so full of yourself, aren't you? You cut off 20% of my allowance and mother's. What gave you the right? And what the hell is this? You went to school. Rude. You've been keeping tabs on us. Keeping tabs on you? <sighs> Come on, Ruby. Do not flatter yourself. I mean, rather than keeping tabs on you, I have better things to do, like tracing where the company's money is going to. And what you have right there is a clear evidence. You, my dear sister, know that I hate two things. One, people getting what they do not deserve and two lavishing it on things that doesn't make sense having said that cutting down your allowances is actually necessary don't you think so you're joking right dad won't let you you think so He knows. Bahamas, Spain, Italy, Maldives, Egypt. Throwing the world in three months and you think that is going to bother about your allowance? Really? Well, I'm sure that you must have spoken to him and since he ignored your head to make a fool out of yourself. Well, well done. Well, now that you are done making a fool out of yourself, can you please leave my office because I got important things to do? Now. Serena, because of this position where they give you, you don't deform boss. Not be so like we take you. 
well scripted. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm not done talking. Well, I am. And you may as well use the door except you want my securities to throw you out like some douchebag. This is my father's company too. You will not order me around. This is my office and you are trespassing. You haven't seen the last of me, Melissa. I will make sure you regret every actions. I promise you. Try harder, girl. Try really hard. Ah! That, that hard not girl. What is your problem? Tell me what is your problem? It's not like it's your money. It's my father's company. So what gives you the right to tell me how to spend my money? Such a silly girl. I don't blame you. I do not blame you one bit. <sighs> oh. Where were you? Uh, I'm so hungry. So hungry. I need food, like a whole lot of food right now. Really? Food? How can my boyfriend be thinking of food at a time like this? Sorry, nobody told me this fasting today. Can you just stop being ridiculously funny because you aren't? You know, this is all your fault. If only you had done your job properly, that sneaky cat wouldn't have found out. And I wouldn't be cut off like this. You're just, you're just lousy. I mean, too lousy for my liking. <laughs> Makes me wonder what he has to do with me. Mm -hmm. You know what your problem is? You are poor. You are so poor and so full of yourself. I don't know why I'm dating your sorry ass. Give me food. That is what I need right now. Food. A lot of food. There is a pain in my heart A wound in my soul to meet you again. I believe this is our first formal meeting and I'm standing in for my brother, Gideon Brainard. Well, I should also apologize for the delay. I'm just coming out of another meeting. 15 minutes. I'm sorry, what? You're 15 minutes late. You see, Mr. Brainard, if you know me too well from introduction later, you realize I do not joke with time and that you just messed with. Excuse me. Miss Adosa, good day. You'll be hands, Kenneth. 
I, I must say I am sorry. If I could remember, our three o'clock lunch meeting is yet to get underway, so technically I still got you like an hour plus. So please, and you know how it is in this part of the world, the traffic was mad, though that can be considered as an excuse, for we, we, we could have made earlier counter provisions. So please, can you just give me 30 minutes of your time? I promise you won't regret it. Home, man. Mom, we are home. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You can go home now. Okay, mom. Thank you. It wouldn't kill you if you tell her how much you love her every single day. How long have you been standing there? Lisa, do you derive joy in hurting your only child? For how long will you keep pushing and punishing her for a crime she knows nothing of? I won't. I need to tell you the truth. The only crime I think that little girl committed was for her to be born. Nothing more. So you need to stop pouring out all your anger on this innocent child. 
and just love her as your, as your precious child. Please. She doesn't deserve all this. Do you know what I think? I think that you are the one putting things in Kyra's head. You need to learn how to mind your business and stop prognosing. Thank you. You here? No work? Good morning, Jane. Oh, good morning. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm surprised to see you at home at this hour of the day. You're not working today? No, this is weekend. I am pretty sure you don't have that in your calendar because you are worker early, aren't you? Well, that's what happens when you got a lot of responsibilities, right? <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, look, I got a new teddy. Oh, well, this is pretty big. And who got it for you? You, of course. I love it. Me? Are you sure? Hmm. You always get me teddies and candy. And I'm sure you love all of them, right? Yes, especially this one. Thank oh. you, I love it. Ah, <laughs> You know, I'm always happy each time you're happy. You know what? Your auntie's going out to the mall to get some stuff. What do you want me to get for you? Okay. Hmm, chocolates. Chocolates? Yeah. And that's all? Yes. Fine. Do you want me to get anything for you? I'm good. Okay, chocolate, here we come. Be careful, don't go out without telling someone, okay? Okay. I'll okay. be back soon. Be good. Bye. Take care of yourself. Oh! Oh my God! Are you okay? What's wrong with you? How many times do you have to tell not to hurt yourself? <laughs> Call yeah. the doctor! She doesn't need a doctor, please. Come on, come, come, come here, come here. Easy, 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 baby, easy, easy. Sit. Take this. You hot? You okay? Are you fine? She's okay. Let's, Let's go inside. inside. Come. Easy, sorry. Sorry, baby. Sorry. Sorry, baby. Please call the doctor. Sorry. Are you fine? Don't worry, honey, you'll be fine, okay? It's very painful. Not anymore, because mommy fought all those things that were making Nate painful. You'll be fine, okay? Really? Have I ever lied to you before? No. So, mommy's there, ask her. She's mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Of course, I fought them all. <laughs> Jane? Please, go on and buy those chocolates. I'm sure Kara needs them now. I'm going to buy them much. And can hmm? too? <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Bye. There is Sorry, a pain in Sorry. my heart. You'll be fine, okay? I won't in my soul. Oh, trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind. Oh, oh, there is a pain. What the hell is this, Mr. D? How did this happen? <sighs> Madam, that's what we are trying to. Trying? 
Did you just say you were trying? And important information about this company is leaked and you stand there to say you're trying? What have you and your tech team done for the past 15 minutes you got this notice? Madam, we are tracing it. Mr. Ade, do you have any idea what this would do to our new release? Do you? The company? Madam, we will combat this. We just need a little bit of time. Time? That is what I do not have time. I can't believe I pay you two and you stand here and give me some lousy jobs. Jeez! Madam, please, we will rectify it. Pius, get me to the control room. I need to rectify this issue in the next five minutes. Stan? I'm sending two employees to you right now. Mr. Ade and Mr. Innocent. Three months severance charge. Damage fee attached as well. And make sure you clear their decks before noon. Hey, hey, madam, please. Madam, please, you don't have to do this, please. I'm, just pardon. I'm going to the tech room. Get these two idiots out of my office. Use force if need be. Please, you need to leave. Please, madam, please, please, this is too happy again. You, you, you need please, to leave, madam, please. This is your fault. If that you reported this when I told you, you wouldn't have landed yourself in this. How dare you blame me? It's your fault as well. How is it my fault? When you fired her, didn't you know that something like this would occur? Okay, you guys need to stop fighting and leave. You're not going to like the other side of her. If she comes back and meets you guys here, please leave. This is your fault. This Excuse is your me, fault. please leave. You're always the, you're, you're always the wrong one. I don't like... I need the excels and chips I had the last time with water, please. Hurry up, thank you. Mr. Bernard? Can you be my girlfriend for like five minutes? Excuse you? Oh, I see you're looking for someone to help get rid of your baggage. Baggage? Look, this is your mess. Fix it. What the heck? You talk too much. Stop. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I need to apologize to her. Excuse me. Apologize. <laughs> Mr. Supervisor, I don't see any reason why, okay? What rubbish are you talking about? You kissed me without my consent! But I already explained why. I did. This must be fun for you, right? This some sort of game or what? <sighs> game. <laughs> Game ended a while back. I don't know what we're still doing here. Jason, what are you doing here? What did I just hear? Why did you do that? It doesn't matter. Because obviously he's unapologetic. And you know what? I will sue you for sexual harassment. Nonsense. Please, can we just wrap things up here and now? 
I will make sure this doesn't affect you or your business in any way, please. Sir, so I hope you guys resolve this issue well, you know. Miss Lisa is one of our top clients and we don't want to lose her. Oh, I know. I, I will make it up for any damage it caused, all right? <sighs> Sorry. All right, sir. Okay. All right. Jason, you can't just give me that silence all through. What is wrong with you? You gotta talk. At least give me one good reason why you did what you did. Do you have any idea what your single thoughtless attitude could cause the company? He walked out on me. What is even wrong with that guy, Mom? Why is he always like this? Calm down. Calm down. Don't get yourself worked up because of Jason. Mom, I am calm. But frankly, I am not the one you need to be talking to right now. You need to talk to Jason. He can't keep go going about causing troubles. He's already too old for that now. Calm down. Whatever it is, your father will take care of it. Okay? Mom, I, 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 I don't think you understand the gravity of what he did. Sometimes covering up is not what we need for him. We need a push button to make him man up and apologize when he does something wrong. No, no, they give him that leg now. Calm down. Jason, there is a pain Jason. in my heart, a wound in my soul. Oh, trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind. What the heck? talk too much. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. God bless you. Yeah. Everyone is fine. Okay. All right. Oh, you are back already? Yeah. Good evening, Mom. Good How evening. are you doing? I'm good. I'm high, Skara. Well, my grandchild is sleeping. I just put her to bed now. Okay. Lisa. Jay. I'm fine. What has happened has happened. It's not like I can change a thing about it. So? So? I'm not that stupid to stay back and exchange words with some idiot. Of course I'm suing him. What? Are you deaf? No. I, I thought I heard you wrong. Oh, you didn't. Well, isn't that a bit too much? I mean... I know it was just uh... nothing but sexual harassment, Mom. I mean, what else do I explain to someone taking advantage of me without my consent? And the annoying part is that each other didn't apologize. What do you expect me to do? Fold my arms and watch him take advantage of my dignity? Impossible. Oh 
You're still awake. Should be asking you. Why are you not sleeping? You look worried. What is it? Is it a nightmare? I'm fine. No, you are not. You are not fine. Just look at you. I know it's a nightmare. I said I am fine. Just leave me alone. If you want me to leave you alone, it's fine. Good night. Mr. Bernard? Good morning, Miss Adosa. How are you this morning? Good. What were you expecting? To have going gaga crazy? No, no, that's not it at all. Oh. If not, then why are you here with no power notice? Okay, I... I thought we could at least talk and discuss over breakfast about the last time. If that's okay by you. Oh, all right, fine. You got me. Look, if you're here to talk about your brother, then I'm afraid we got nothing to talk about. But if it's about business, then you can follow me to my office. Sapporo, get us two glasses of coffee. Okay, ma'am. No, Jane. You can't give me that silent treatment. No way. I deserve to know what's going on here. I mean, you need to give me a reason. What reason do you want? Hmm? What reason do you need when there's nothing going on between us? What? I kissed another woman. And so what? And so bloody what? Look, you need to understand that there's nothing going on between us. No this and no peace. Okay, so I don't get where this whole clinging idea is coming from. Wait. Wait a minute. She don't. She don't love me? Love you? <laughs> Are you a comedian? Eh? I mean, is this one mad or something? Are you dumb or what? Love you? What is wrong with you? Why are you always jumping into conclusions? That's because you told me so! I told you so. Are you a virgin? Is this your first time sleeping with a man? Don't you know that men say things, a lot of things that they don't mean during sex? Especially when you're giving it to them. Ta -ta 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 -ta. You don't know that? Are you indirectly calling me a whore? Is that what you're doing, Jay? Now, that's some stupid way to address yourself. Okay, but if that's what makes you sleep well at night... Okay. You know what? Here you go. Some money, right? You want to be a whore? 
Does that add up? Are you happy? I'm okay. Shh, hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't you ever in your life try that again. Do you understand? Don't you try that. Okay? Just seconds ago, you were ready to jump at me if I, if I had given you the go ahead. So you have no right to be angry. If you want to be angry, try reforming your sense of reasoning and assimilation. And hey, I can no longer allow someone who doesn't know where and when to draw the line between business and pleasure continue working for me. So yeah, you are fired. Now leave my office. I said get the hell out of my office! You know what? You want me to call security? Scratch. Yeah. She will no longer be a problem. And she's not my scratch. That's for the meantime. In no time, you will find another. Is that spite I hear from you? Then is it happiness? Or maybe joy? Oh, wow. I am all smile. Jason, your mess, Miss Adosa, what plans have you got? Should we play a game? Fine. Fine. I'm going to apologize to her. Are you happy now? That won't be necessary. She, she doesn't want to see or hear anything you want to say. I guess I was a hot topic for the day. Will you just stop being a pompous idiot and focus for once? You've got no right to be angry. You are the one who is wrong here. You kissed a girl without her permission. A wonderful strategy that would have worked out had it been the girl was so, some random idiot. What you should have done right there and then was apologize. Uh, was that so hard? Oh, jeez, guy, I... I don't need this lecture, okay? I said I will apologize to her. Oh, Jason. What? Don't go causing any more trouble. Just let me handle everything from now on. Fine. Look who we have here. Miss Melissa Iruchiamaka Adosa. You know, I was in the neighborhood and thought I should extend a visit to my stepdaughter. By the way, you look so skinny. Is Patricia not feeding you? Or is there something? Oh, maybe a scandal? You know, I'm really surprised to see a woman of your caliber in my house by this time. Instead of touring the world round with your handbag of a daughter. Oh, I forgot you do not have enough money. Well, I'm unapologetic about that. You're so full of yourself. What did you think? That you caught Ruby on my wings? To what end? Listen, darling. You've been on this fight for too long. Is it not time you give up? Fight? There's absolutely nothing to fight for. You, on the other hand, is the one with some misplaced priorities. And you know what, ma'am? Go fix yourself. Be careful. Because you never know what to hit you from behind. I definitely know that. When you're done, use the door. All right. Excuse me. Really?
You shouldn't have gotten involved, Dad. I would have handled it just fine. I know. But then I couldn't leave my daughter to handle everything by herself. It only made it quicker, didn't it? I heard from Pius that you're suing Iruchi. If you could, can you not go along with it? It might sound really stupid and totally uncalled for, but I need you to pull back and let me handle things myself. And how are you supposed to handle things, Dad? Dare I ask? Iruchi. Oh! Hold on, let me guess. Using some connections and all that? Iruchi, I... Dad, you couldn't even handle eight years ago of my life and here you are wanting to handle another major issue? Seriously, Dad? I have a good reason this time. Besides, our company and Diaz are about to host an important event. And, and it has nothing, I mean absolutely nothing to do with the company, Dad. I'm suing Jason Brainard, the person, and not Gazil Company. Is this clear enough, Dad? My dear. Dad, um, you know what? I gotta go. Kara sends her regards. Bye. These things really get old sometimes. Are you going to keep using the same excuse every time? Sir, I don't know what else you want me to say to convince you otherwise. I don't even know how possibly they allowed you into this floor when you know pretty well how the rules work. See that? See that right there just shows that you are lying. Believe whatever you want to believe, but it is as I have said. Okay, fine. Give me a number. Huh? Let me call her. You think I enjoy coming here every time to, to, to look at your lying face? Or you think I love the embarrassment? I, I, I... And you do not get it, do you? Quit getting your hopes high and get the fuck out. Miss Adosa, I believe we've pretty much met and... Um... Get the fuck out. I said you want my securities to throw you out. Hmm. Now, I'm not joking. Okay, it's not my fault that she's angry and bitter. She didn't even let me speak. Mm -hmm. That's because she's still angry with what you did. Can she not see that I'm trying to apologize to her? <laughs> Jason, maybe next time you try modesty and be honest. <laughs> hmm? I have a question though. Why is it that she can stand you, but she can't stand me? It's clear now. I'm not the one that got angry. So why would she listen to me? Guy, yeah, but actually you don't even like this girl. Oh no, no. Guy, forget that thing. I am engaged though. In case you don't forget. Uh, where your engagement ring? <laughs> forget ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm hey, hey mama. Oh, Giddy. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I heard voices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Mommy, sit down. Let me get you a glass. Okay. Be right back. Mm. You're enjoying yourself. I can see that. <laughs> wait for your own glass, mom. Don't worry. I'll wait. <laughs>
Not now, Kyra, not now. I said not now. Stop me, stop one. I said not now. I don't like when you're being stubborn. What is wrong with you? Can't you see I'm busy? Jeez. Really sorry, sit. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I just called you. I'm sorry, I raised my voice at you. The thing is, mommy's stressed. Mommy's looking for this very important paper, a document that she needs for work mm -hmm. tomorrow, okay? And, um, yeah, that's not an excuse, but I'm sorry. Please. That's my girl. So, you said you made something? A boat? Come on, let me see. Oh, this is a boat. Kyra, did you come into my room without my permission? your daughter for heaven's sake. If you have any problem, don't point on her. Point on yourself. Since you cannot get yourself out of this mess. She is not your problem. All she wants is your love. Not for you to be shouting at us as if she's a mad woman. You are your problem. There is a pain in my heart A wound in my soul a Trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind. <laughs>
Where's Kyla? Kyla, I'm talking to you! Ma? Are you dead? Not at all, Ma. Where is she? <laughs> Talk to me and you're looking at me like that! Ma, she came out crying. At the same time, mentioning your name. So I come to say you die outside, say she won't go meet you. So she come run out. Oh my God. Ma? Just, just pray nothing happens to her. Just pray! I'm praying the way. Oh I'm praying already. There is a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul. Oh, trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my Hey, I, I would have gotten you ice cream or something, but I didn't want to take you out of your estate so your parents wouldn't be worried. So just manage this, all right? I'm sorry again. You ready to go home? Why? I mean, <laughs> it's home, right? That's where you feel safe. I don't want to go home. Come on, I'm sure your parents are very worried about you by now, okay? And I have this angry lady I need to go and meet. Hmm? Okay, so why don't we um, call your dad or your mom to come and pick you up, right? You have their number? You do? Good, good. Kyra for president. Smile now. Nah. If you want to smile, smile. Hey, there you go. All right, so, okay, just put uh, daddy or mommy's phone number. Hello, this is Jane Manukwe. My niece is missing. Today. What? 24 hours? No. My daughter is missing. I cannot wait for 24 freaking hours. Mr. Dipio, do you want me to have the cops of my daughter in my arm before you do your job? No, you listen. If anything bad happens to my daughter, I swear in the name of anything that I believe in that you lose your job. Do something, yes! Jeez! It's all right. No, hey. mom, no, 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 ask me to calm down. Don't, don't, don't. I'm talking about Kyra, Kyra, hey, Kyra. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. All right! Oh, no! Hey, 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 hey. Mom, no, 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 no. We will find her. God will help us. Mom! Mom, my Kyra. Hello. I can't, no, I can't take this, I can't take this. I can't, I can't, I can't stand this, I can't. No, 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 it's okay, no, 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 please. Hello? Kyra? <gasps> Baby? Kyra, is that you? Yes, 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 it's mommy. Hello? No, what, what, what? What's this? What have you done to my daughter? 
Look, okay, um, we'll be there. Come in. Calm down, girls. This is bullshit. You did not do anything to her. She even said that. You can't be too sure. The doctor is not done. You and I know why this happened in the first place. If you hadn't shouted at her as a piece of trash, this wouldn't have happened. Yes! Excuse you? Are you trying to say it's my fault? James was being a brat. She's a child! She's only a child who doesn't know her right to left! What is it? The child is screaming for a mother's love and attention. Is it to her friend to give it to her? Tell me. Is it? Eh? It doesn't matter how and what brought her into your life. Why will you allow her to suffer for something that she never partook in? Just imagine, she had a choice to call, but she never dealt your number, even when she has your number of her. Shut up! How does that make you feel? Refresh? I said shut up! You will not talk to me like that! And if I do, what will happen? Hey! hey! Break it back, both of you. What is all this? This behavior is totally uncalled for. Mom. Hey! I didn't want to hear anything. The priority isn't about the bloated egots. Rather the little girl. What is all this? Now whatever you have against each other should be thrown aside. Or better still bury it in the deepest pool of forgetfulness and that's it! All our attention should be on the later girl. And not what you're doing, have I made myself clear? The doctor is done with her. Doctor, how is she doing? She's doing very okay. Actually, there was no sign of any malhandling or sexual abuse. She only had a shock, but I've given her some sedatives to help calm her down. I believe by the time she wakes, she's going to feel a lot better. So there's nothing to, nothing to fear. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, uh, I'll see you to the door. I can't believe this. I absolutely cannot believe this. Do you know the reason I went over there? I went over there because I wanted peace to reign. I wanted to apologize because it seemed necessary. How was I supposed to know that her daughter was going to jump in front of the car? How? Jason, calm down. <laughs> it's settled. Settled? No, it's far from settled. She called me kidnapper. She said I abducted her daughter. Me, Jason Brainard. Can you just let it go? People tend to say things they don't mean, especially when they're angry. No. Why are you getting yourself worked on? No, 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 not her. She's very intentional about everything that she does. So don't stand there and try to paint her as a saint. Jason. I don't understand this boy. Please have a word with you. Oh, sure. Jason, you, your brother. Uh, Jason. Jane, Mr. Dosa wants to talk. Does it have anything to do with business? Not exactly. And I... you, I have nothing to talk about. He's not angry. He's hot. Yes, I'm intentionally or unintentionally, you hurt him. And I hope you know that it's not something that just throwing apologies can fix. So if you want to fix this, 
that you might want to do more than what you're doing now. Thank you. There is a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul. Oh, trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind. Oh. Staring at the eyes of the things that once made you cry It seems like you're fading away Oh, hey! Hi, Mr. Brainerd. What is this? Are you stalking me? Stalk? Stalk you? No, no, come on. I mean, this is a restaurant. People come here to eat, right? Yeah, right. Jason, can't you see I'm trying to apologize? Apologize? For what? For calling me a kidnapper in front of all those people? I mean, I did something really stupid to you, so I guess we're even, aren't we? No. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was scared. I was scared something bad was going to happen to her. My bad, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes. You know what? In a few weeks' time, we're not going to be seeing each other. So until then, let's just try to be civil, okay? Jason. Chase. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I take it the evening went well. I take it you're the snitch that gave out my location? What are you talking about? Pretending isn't going to get you anywhere. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I did. Uh, that was because she needed to talk to you, but you weren't giving her that attention. That's because she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> did it occur to you that she's sorry? I want to apologize for throwing the media at you for the exact opposite thing you did. Did it also occur to you that I may have been in a very, very bad mood and I could have hurt someone and it would have been your fault? Well, no call came through, so I assume, no, there was no much damage. No, no damage at all. <sighs> Seriously, bro, you should have told me. Huh? Like, he, like he, he would have given the consent. So tell me. How did it go? What did she say? <laughs> Why did he laugh now? Uh, Talk now. <laughs> um, that shouldn't cost much. Check the estimate cost and let me know what I'm dealing with. All right, I'll have a report in the next 30 minutes. Mr. Bernard? Hello, Mr. Dosa. Here. For you. Thank you. Um, what are you doing here? I mean, I was expecting your brother and not you. Right, of course. But I am representing my company for this event. Oh, your brother didn't mention. Let's head to my office then. Sure. Mm. So my turn, huh? Yeah. All right. I pick dare. Okay. I dare you to carry me around. Carry you around? What do you mean? On my back? Yeah. Alright, come on, up one. 
Wow, you are so heavy. Go faster! Oh, wow, faster. Yeah, go faster. Faster. How long am I supposed to do this for? Go faster! Oh, okay, faster, faster. Hey guys! Enough of the place. Come out for the So, how about we stop and eat something first? No. Destination yeah. to continue. Let's go! Oh my god! Can you stop and come down? <laughs> go faster! Oh, why did I allow you to tell me? Faster! Oh my goodness. Oh! Mr. Dosa. Mr. Brennan. Hi. Thank you. Hey, honey. Come on, I brought you chocolates. Hi, honey. Chocolate. Oh, You're chocolate. Very good. So, Tyra, what are you waiting for? Don't you want some chocolates? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not more. <laughs> okay, I think that's my cue to, uh, you know, take off. Oh, the mouse and sound. Come on, you're here already. Why don't you join us for dinner? I really wish I could stay, but thank you so much for the offer. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, though. Oh, Paul, don't go. Stay. Oh, honey, sorry, but... How can I say no when a princess has asked? Mm. Ooh, super yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, oh mom. Mm -hmm. Mom, what? <clears throat> Sorry. Come on, go change so they can join us for dinner. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's my turn. It's my turn. So let's continue. It's my turn. Before entering, you saw it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing? Working. Just to walk in. Yeah, I just have this little assignment to get done with before sleeping. Let me see. Ah. Oh. So, <clears throat> it's a project I have to submit tomorrow. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> I was just thinking you would join us for dinner. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to, but I just told you, Mom, I have an assignment tomorrow. It's because of him, right? I guest. Oh, huh? He's your guest. I mean, you guys invited him to the house without my permission, so. I do not have to entertain him, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we should have told you before inviting him. Even when Cairo was insisting on calling him over. We should have told you, you're right. Then again, I'm glad he came. Maybe it's a bad to patch up the wrong start. There's no wrong start, Mom. Mom, come on, listen. Jason 
and I were never going to happen, Mom. Oh, stop stressing, Mom. Go have your dinner. Come on. <laughs> really? You know, I know you too well. I raised you. Your late mom was my twin, have you forgotten? She handed you over to me before she passed on. And ever since then, I've taken you to be my own daughter, my child. So I know you too well. And believe me, I will never, ever allow anything to hurt you. Mm -mm. No more tears. Come here. Come. I love you with all my heart, my life. No words. I need you to come join us for dinner. Uh, please. Mom. Please. Uh, mom. mom, for real, please. Please. Mom, you sound like I don't always join you for dinner. Just this night. Well, I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> All I'm saying is... I'm waiting. Yeah, right. Say yes, son. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Sure that she will agree to come in the first place. You know, considering that I'm not that type of guy. <sighs> Kyra is a sweet girl. Thank you for today, and thank you for dinner. I had fun. You know, I was having a rough day, but when that call came in, I just couldn't say no. I have to go, and you guys should probably check up on her and. Make sure that she sleeps early. Sure. Oh, don't worry. Our mother got her covered. <laughs> hey. Um. Hey. I hope we'll still see you again. And soon, please. <laughs> I'll try. Thank you. <clears throat> Sure. Look, Jason, I may have apologized and all, but that doesn't mean you can just... You're not my type. Excuse you? We made mistakes and we've apologized, but that doesn't mean we're on the same page or that I have feelings for you. Isn't that what you were going to say? Don't worry, the thought never crossed my mind. What? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but you are just not my type. I mean, I don't know, you're too stiff, too enclosed. You have walls around you. You have no humor, no flair. How could you possibly love anyone or let someone love you? And. If it no call to you that I might have been like this because of something? I know people who are going through the same thing or a similar struggle.
the difference between you and them is that they learn to fight their own demons. Not all demons can be fought easily. True. But letting it consume you is not ideal either. Thank you for partially hosting me. I had a great time. Good night. That's all for today. Mr. Dosa, is there something else you'd like to add to what we already have on ground? Yeah. Quite a few, but um, my team will get back to you on that. Okay. So when does the we converge? I think I'll wait for a feedback from your team, then I can set up a meeting. Bad. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, guys. Uh, the time was well utilized. Don't you think so, Miss Adosa? Very much. I, I think I, I'll have to escort you to your car. All oh, right, uh, thanks. But I'd rather you rather do that. Oh. Well then, I'll be seeing you around. Have a nice time. This is new. What is this? What game do you have up your sleeves? I'm sorry. Yeah, I... I'm sincerely sorry. I mean, it's not about what you said or acted. I feel like I owe you a sincere apology, so I'm sorry. So what was the other apology for? You didn't mean it? Let's just say I had been a debtor. So you apologize even when it's not coming from your heart? Mr. Jason, in business, apology is a key. Business, huh? Yeah, but honestly, Jason, I'm sorry. I mean, what I did to you is nothing compared to that kiss. So I'm sorry. Okay. Let's just say that I accept your apology. It has to be on one condition. I want you to go out with me. I'm not going to date you. I didn't say date. I said go out with me. I already made it clear that you are not my type. Let's just hang out, have dinner, lunch, breakfast, any of the above. Okay. Okay. Tonight is fine. Good. Tomorrow is fine by me. I'll pick you up. Shall we?
to let go but I can't just get it off my mind oh, I'm staring at the eyes of the things that once made you cry It seems like you're fading away It's been such a long time I saw her smile like this. Very long time. You know, for some weird reason, I feel he has got her heart in such a way no other man has. Mom, I'm not sure. I mean, I know how she is. She can just turn to something else. And do nothing? Hmm? I feel he has gotten so much into her skin that she cannot even scratch him off, even if she wants to. Mom, hmm? I know her better. I know what she can do. <laughs> I know how she can turn herself into if she wants to. I just pray she can just let herself be happy and forget about the past. I pray, I pray. I pray she doesn't take off. If not for any reason, for Kyra's sake. Because I wouldn't want her to go through what her mother went through. I pray so, Mom. I pray for happiness in our life. Her to go through what her mother went through. Amen. Mm, I know. <laughs>
here. Oh. Uh. Who's that? I think, I think I left something upstairs. My cart. You did? Yeah. Just give me a second. All right, hurry up. I'll wait here then. Out. Okay. Dr. Gracie just left her and she promised that she'll be fine. Well, she believes she saw the owner of the pendant. Or rather, something that looks like the pendant. It took her straight back to that very moment again. At times I wonder why all those things are happening to her. One minute, she'll be fine, as if she's forgotten everything, and if you see her, she'll be happy. The next other minute, boom, she goes straight back to that very moment again. Mommy, don't worry, just go and rest. I'll be with her, okay? It's all right. You say you're not dating her, right? But you're seen everywhere with her. You even go out with her and she abused you like this? Listen! What exactly is she? A thug? How can the delicate hands of a woman do this thing to a man and I have to watch it? What exactly is she to you? I just... Jason, do not get me upset. No. Don't tell me you have nothing to do with her. Just look at my baby's cheek. Did she go to a slapping school or what? Kitty, mm -hmm. this is not a laughing matter. Okay. And what were you when she did this to your brother? Mom, did I follow him to where he went? I beg go. <laughs> Jason. Mm. Anything you have with that girl should stop right now. Stop it now. She's bullying you now. What happens eventually when you marry her? Mom. Really, marriage. You're always too ahead of yourself. Jason. Mom, I've heard you. And I told you I am not getting married either. You will marry. You will marry and give me grandchildren. But definitely not this girl. Mom, can you leave this guy? All these things you're saying, it doesn't trip him. Jason. Oh, mom, mom, I've, 
I've heard you. I've heard you. Ah, I'm okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. That chick needs some massaging. Don't worry. Thank you. I'm okay. How do you even see this guy? Is, is he still, he's still a suckling child? He'll handle it now and I just slap him chop. And no man, no man. Okay, I, that's your cue to go. Mom, please, thank you. You guys should go. I need to take a shower. It's okay, you guys can go now. Jason. Mom, your face show. Sure. Hello there, handsome. Wow. You really do look mesmerizing from up close. She sure has an eagle eye. Always goes for the best. Too bad she always treats them like they're some sort of um, trash. And you are? Oh, pardon my manners. I was totally carried away by your handsomeness. I am Ruby. Ruby Adosa. The one and only true heir of Sparkstein Company. The other, she's a fake. A result of my father's infidelity to mom. Ah, you must be the, um... Bingo! Wow! You're not only handsome, you're also smart. Totally my type. Beats me why you would want to waste your precious time with a woman like that. I don't quite follow. Oh, stop it. I know you do. I know you totally get where I'm coming from. Anyway, I have to give it to her. I have to admit, she's got some few enticing features here and there. But that's not enough reason for her to waste someone's life like this. You sure deserve better, darling. So much better. Look, I don't know what you came here. I, with. on the other hand, I'm a different case. You want to try? How about you go out with me instead? I promise you would have to deal with the roller coaster of emotions like you're dealing with her right now. How about you never show your face to me again and say such rubbish about your sister? I can see you haven't changed your furnitures. Still same old ones. Go straight to the point. You couldn't have been here out of your abundant, non-existing motherly love for your husband's late lover's child. Perhaps. Are you here to gloat? Because of the recent event? I went by your office and you were in there. So, what if I'm here for that? Then I'm sorry to disappoint you because I have not lost my mind. Hmm? <laughs> Worst news are going around. They wonder if a lady with such temper can take the company to the next level. My husband trusts you so much, but looking at you, I don't think his fate is still with you. That, that is something we should wait and see. Because you, dear mother, should know that all your word plans, imaginations, Never come to pass. Not this time, darling. This time, I will make sure you never stand up again. It's a promise. Hmm. Another toy ready to be discarded. Hmm. 
what? You have nothing to tell me? Lisa, I ran into your sister. Or should I say she came on to me and gave me reasons why I shouldn't be with you. And I just met your stepmother who seems like she can go any length to make sure that you're not happy. And you're telling me you have nothing to tell me. All I have to say to you is that they are capable of doing worse. Okay, what exactly is going on with you? You owe me that much. I don't. I mean, when I owed you an explanation or something, I called you several times, but you didn't pick up. I was upset. And that is justifiable. I mean, it's okay to be upset, Jason. But you don't go mute on people like that. You should at least speak up. Squad me, do whatever you want, but not pick up my calls. Why do I feel like you're throwing me an apology? Even if I accept it or not. Another business-like apology? Instead of this empty apology, I think I'll feel better if you give me the reason why you did that. It doesn't matter. It matters. It does matter. You can't just treat people like that and you say it doesn't matter. Give me a reason, anything at all. Lisa. Have you ever been in love before? Have you ever loved someone to the point where it hurts? You can't breathe? That's exactly how I feel right now. And the one person that I'm in love with is constantly pushing me away. I don't care what the world says. I don't care how they view you. But it's never going to change how I feel for you. Okay, these past few days I've tried to see what it feels like living without you. But it seems impossible. I know that you may not feel the same way for me. Not yet. But mine should be enough, right? Huh? No rush. No pressure. But you have to let me in whenever you're ready. Okay? I love you. I love you so, so much. Lisa, hi. 
hay um, Chase um, I'm sorry I had to wait in your office I didn't want it to look awkward please do not fire your secretary fire okay that's not happening please she told me I had a guest in the office but hey are you okay you your breath is erratic is everything okay Chase I just need to know are you sure about what she said the other day I don't understand. Chase, you said you wouldn't push. You said you wait until I'm ready to talk. Are you sure about all that? Look, I know what it means to be in a relationship and in as much as I want something more than physical, platonic relationship, I've got phobia from relationship, Jace. And I'm scared. I'm scared I might end up disappointing you. Okay. I think you're overthinking this. I tend to. I mean, I have to. Jace, if we end up messing things between us, we wouldn't be the only one affected. My daughter too. Kyra has gotten so fond of you. I know. Which is why I have thought about this over a million and one times. And I have a feeling that we're not going to mess it up. Okay? Mm. So? What do you say? Then the consequences. I'll follow my heart. <laughs> Hey, Mama. <laughs> Her son. Good evening. Jason. You must be Iruchi. Yes. Wow. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, <clears throat> Dad, Mom, please meet uh, Melissa Iruchuku Amaka Adosa, my girlfriend, babe, my parents, Chief and Lady Elizabeth Brainerd. I'm so honored to meet you, ma'am, sir. Jason here said a lot about you both, especially you, ma'am. Wow, really? Yes. That's the first. Oh. <laughs> Please make yourself comfortable, okay? Thank you. Sit. Yes. <sighs> Some people said they won't change. They always make their mother their favorite. Oh, no, that, that's not true. Trust me, Jason here has said several times that you are his role model. I promise. Wow. <laughs> Another first? <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> okay, babe, please. Don't, don't sweat it, okay? See, my dad here can be a real drama king when he wants to be, so... <laughs> oh! I believe you've met my brother, Gideon. Yeah, his fiancée would have been here if not for school. 
So. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gidi. Oh. Nice to meet you again. It's nice hearing you address me by my first name, not Mr. Brennan. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for keeping this rugged brother in mind in check this few months. Okay, relax. I never needed the leash, all right? So he says, I beg to differ. Anyways, you're welcome to our humble abode. Just make yourself comfortable. Uh, I've been wondering you'd come around. <laughs> Please ignore this guy. He's a very unserious guy. Ignore him. <laughs> Trust me, Jason. You have a wonderful family. Mm. Thank you. This is my wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So soon dinner will be set. <sighs> my favorite. I am I'm starving. I know. Starving. I'm I know. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So, Iru? Iru Chimam. What's the name? It means God's face is beautiful. I like it. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Thank you. My mom named me. She was evil. Really? Okay. <laughs> so, you now run your father's business? Correct. Not as tough as it was at first. I guess that roughened you up. And that's why you roughened my baby too. Oh, man. That was... A mistake. I thought I already explained that. Mm -hmm. Jason told me you have a child. Yes. Her name is Kyra Chuku. Kyra for short. Kyra is such a sweet girl. You love her. She can literally make your day. Mm, that's good. I hope you don't mind if I ask you what happened to the father. <clears throat> Jason told me you're a single mom. Yes. And she's an amazing mom. Um, uh, please, guys. I, I think we're getting carried away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As you can see, I'm the only person here without a partner. So, <laughs> just enjoy our meal. <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, did I tell you that um, Gideon is a part of the family? It's obvious. Mom, your foot is so Thank you. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brenner, thank you so much for having me. I had fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pleasure. Given the fact that you are the first girl, and this is the first time Jason is bringing somebody into our home. <laughs> Thank you. You really were the host. And I always want to see you back again. So, Jason, the ball is in your court. <laughs> I'll try my best, man. Yeah, okay. I, I will always bring her around, not a problem. No problem. Okay then, good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> good night, take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, sure. She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the world is watching. <laughs> Are you all right? You've been quiet since. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm very well. I'm just amazed. You know, I thought your mother would give me a hard time. No, we already talked about it. She's good. Jace? Yeah? I want to tell you something. And it's really important. If I say it to you tonight, it's because you're an important person in my life. Chase, 
I... I was ripped. Raped? What, what do you mean, raped? Yeah. Uh, how? There is one part of my life I do not ever want to talk about. Because even till this day, it haunts me as... Kyra. Kyra came as a result of the rape. The to have been a bad mother, Kyra. That's why I've been so uptight. That's why I've been a bad daughter to Aunt Patricia. And that's why I've been a bad sister to Jane. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Tell me that they caught this person. No. Tell me they caught the person who did this. No. Justice was not saved. It wasn't saved because because my father would not push harder. It wasn't saved because because my father would let the boy go free. still thinking about that. Shouldn't I? I mean, what I did was out of control. Listen, Jason. Listen, Jason. You were much a victim as she was. So I don't know why this whole thing is beating you up. It happened years ago. That's the more reason I am worried for her. Like, such events can leave women like that very weak and vulnerable. I mean, they can barely move on in life without having to think about the past. Listen, look. I don't know where this whole thing is coming from, but I must tell you, it, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. You did what you've got to do for your own survival. She moved on, you did same, case closed. So, I don't know why you're, 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 you're making it bother you, you're, you're, you're thinking over it over and over again. Listen, you've got a beautiful woman whom you're crazy about. And, Someone who hopefully is ready to take your shits. So you, you, don't, you don't have to be thinking about this event over and over, like trying to kill yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't drink. If you want to drink, you can drink on a lighter mood. Yes, and make yourself happy. But don't drink as if you're trying to drown yourself in a very, in a very melancholic event. Come on, it can't be that bad. Babe, I'm telling you, it's so bad. Do you know I haven't had a minute of rest since I landed? It's been from one meeting to the other. 
Trust me, I can understand. That's me like three six to five days a year. I swear, I am so tired. And I'm starving. I haven't had anything to eat. You're joking. You mean you've been working with an empty stomach? <sighs> Life of a businessman. Oh, I see. <laughs> now you really need to get something though. Mommy. Yes, sweetie. Please, can you help me with my assignment? Why not? Um, just give me a minute. Hey, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. It's okay. Go and attend to my champ before she loses her mind. You shall know her too well. Alright, talk to you later then. Alright, let me say hi to her. Okay. Sweetheart. Okay, JC wants to say hello. Hello, Uncle Jay. Hey, Kara. How are you? I'm fine. Uncle Jay, miss you. When are you coming? Yeah. Kara, easy! Hold on. Don't run off like that. Come. <laughs> <laughs> she can be a handful, right? Beautiful handful, I must say. So, your flight is later for tomorrow? Mm hmm. Why? Well, you miss me that much? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Trust me, I can stay the whole week without you. You're sure? So why are you blushing? <laughs> Excuse you? Me blush? No way. <laughs> okay, you know what? You need to wipe that smile off your face. Yes, okay, because... Can you? <laughs> you know what it does to me? You can't. Yep, I'm here. Jason! <laughs> hey! Uh, how are you? <laughs> I miss you. I missed you too. Hello, beautiful. Hey! hey. <laughs> are you surprised? I thought... I thought you were supposed to come tomorrow. Yes, um, but I landed today and I thought I'd come and see you guys. Really? You miss me, right? You're so arrogant. That's why you love me. Come here. <laughs> I miss you too. Miss you too. Mm -hmm. well, you're on fire. What's going on? Look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, baby. Um, so we're just taking a war. Mm. Kara said she wanted to stroll after her assignment. Right. Yeah, that's all about it. Okay, it's good. You had lunch? I am starving, but I think you would do. Can I eat you? Excuse me. Okay, right, I, I didn't say anything. Did you hear anything? <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> okay. Children, children. Yes, yes Mommy Kyra. Are you happy today? Yes. If you're happy and you know, say hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know, say hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know, say hooray. Hooray. That's beautiful. So before we cut Kyra's cake, Kyra honey, mommy wants you to make a wish. In the presence of everyone here, so yeah. go on. If you make a wish, I promise, as long as it's humanly possible, I would do it. So, mm -hmm. make a wish before we cut your cake. Go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wish for... Okay, um, <clears throat> hello everybody. Um, I can't believe that Kyra is making me do this here, right now. I met this beautiful, smart, gorgeous lady on a not so wonderful day through her daughter. 
on a not so wonderful day. But ever since that day, my life has never been the same. Babe, I love you with everything in me. I know that we've had our rough moments, but I'd rather be with you. Which is why I'm going to ask this very important question. Babe. Will you please marry me? Now. Yes. Now. Say yes. Yes. a double celebration so we are going to sing a happy birthday song to our little princess happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you how old are you this beautiful cake so we're gonna cut this cake with the name of Jesus so all the knife J J E E S S U U and She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. And so said all of You gotta be kidding me. No, this is a lie. Please. What? No, 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 this is a lie. This is a lie. Waiting of the century, my foot. Melissa. Melissa, if you think I would just sit and watch you take what truly belongs to me, then you lie. This is game on, bitch. You're so pretty. Thank you. Um, you look so beautiful like your, um, see your mom or your dad? Have you met your dad before? Oh, that's bad. What a pity. I'm so sorry, okay? No. Oh, that's bad. What's this? Oh, hey, sis. Baby, are you okay? What's I'm up? Fine. How are you? What's this? What gave you the F entry? The girls to go pick my daughter from school, have you gone bonkers or what? Oh, calm down, sis. With the way you're going, one would think we aren't related. But we are, aren't we? Look, 
I don't care whatever games you're playing, but I've told you and your mother to stay away from my house, especially my child. Do not try this again. Okay, don't. Stop it. Seriously. Is that how bad you think I am? Come on. Look, I don't know what your head keeps telling you, but my mom and I will never harm you. Even though you're unwanted. Get out. Why? She doesn't know? You don't know your mom is illegitimate? As in, unwanted just to see where you are? Oh, Melissa. Melissa, you need to tell her the truth. You need to tell her you don't know who her father is and the reason you hate her so much and you can't stand her face is because she reminds you every single day of that fateful night. Shut up! She'll be fine. The good thing is that his blood matched hers. So all she needs now is a rest. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. Just excuse us for now. Thank you. Let's okay, go. Doctor. Let me open it for you. I'm really glad Kyra is okay. But I'm still trying to see it as a miracle. Jason being the perfect match for Kyra. How possible can that be, Mom? <sighs> well, it's a basic biology. O negative is a universal donor. Can donate to everyone. And Jason is one. Yeah. Right. So, what are you thinking? Nothing. Really nothing. Mom, you should be really tired. I am. I think you should go home and rest. I'll take care of Kyra from here. I oh, know. You should go home, shower, relax, and eat something. She's my grandchild. I'll take care of her. You know, I was thinking that the only place I will ever come to visit you is either a psychiatric home or a rehab. Little did I know that this place suits you so well. Well, things don't always go the way we want. Not so? You won't do that here. Madam, what are you doing? We don't do that here, or you will be charged. I told you! I told you and your mother that you can mess with me! Do whatever you want to do with me, but doing that to my daughter? You must think you got some liver. Newsflash! One of the kidnappers from years ago has been caught, and he has a lot to say about your mother. I'm pretty sure you're interested. What rubbish are you talking about? 
time will tell. Say you will cut. Bitch. So I take the trouble to be here. I can't come around to see my daughter again? Of course you can. But if it's to request the impossible, I'm sorry it's not gonna happen, Dad. She's my daughter. And you are my daughter too. What's this? A change of heart? Just two days ago, you were going to pull down this word asking me to free Ruby from prison. Inconsiderate of what she did to my daughter and now you are here. Wanting me to believe it's some fatherly love? Really? You are free to believe whatever you want to believe. But I want you to know that family comes first in everything. Well, not in this case. Because I do not consider people who want to mother me at every provocation my family. Listen, Kara is doing good. I need to see her at the house. She's a strong and happy girl. Thanks to God. You know, all it will take is a phone call from me and they will let her go, right? I'm letting you handle this because it is directly against my granddaughter. But don't drag it. It is a family matter and I would love us to solve it as such. There is a pain in my heart A wound in my soul oh. Trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind Oh, there is a pain in my heart, a wound in my soul oh, Trying to let go, but I can't just get it off my mind. Oh, staring at the eyes of the things that once made you cry. It seems like you're fading away. But you have to put the past behind you. Tomorrow holds on. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> the man of the moment. Come on. So, what do you think? Oh, you look exceptionally cute, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I am so happy for you. Mm. Who would have thought that a day like this was ever going to come to pass in your life? Uh -huh. Let's just say that I got very, very lucky with Lisa. Uh, Mr. Lucky Lucky. <laughs> I see, I just came to check on you, so you have to be very fast. Yep. You, know, you don't want to have your bride waiting for you at the altar. Absolutely. I'm ready. Ready? Yep. Your tie is still here. I'm actually ready. You don't need to use the tie. Why? <laughs> you break the rules for a living. I don't understand. Jesse, you saw me when I, when I, when I got married. I was so complete. That's old school. You, you got married like an old man. Okay, let's show you how it's done. All right? It's cool. Taking over, bro. <laughs> but I'm ready. Let me just, um, you know, like, uh, make sure. It's that okay. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. All right, be right down. Be right down. <clears throat>
she's not here, my wife to be just ran off on our wedding day, and you're telling me she's not here? Because she's not here! I am as confused as you are right now because this morning she was so happy that she's going to walk down the hill with the man that she loves, which is you! And out of the sudden, she chose escape road, which is the most embarrassing thing ever, and you think I am happy with that? Then where could she be? I don't know! I mean, I I've been calling, texting, she's not responding. What is this? Yeah. No, 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 she's not here. I'm, I'm with Jane. She doesn't know her whereabouts either. Like, I, I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Keep me updated, all right? Thanks. So what are we going to do now? I, I, I really don't... What? It's her. What did she say? She just sent me a text. What did she say? What did she say? I have to go. I have to go. I'll send you the address. What did she say? What's going on? Wait! And join them. Move, sit, sit well. What do you want from me? Please don't kill me. What do you want from me? Please don't kill me. If you don't keep quiet, I will use your jam wall. So let me tell you, you better shut up for you. They need to make noise inside here. They hear me? And you, you even get advantage because your case is different from these people. If you cooperate well, well, by this time next tomorrow, you don't go back to your family. But if you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. Oh, please, please don't kill me. I beg you. I want to go home. <laughs> You had better keep quiet while you are here. A lot of us have been here over a week. Oh, who are you people? Don't you see? There's something I'm saying to you. So your family seen a play with the play for this place. Eh? It is all we need. But your family will get sense. We will show and see with wise person. We will use the night to set example for all these people here. Can this one more trade and fuck up? Please don't take her. Please. Oh, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it. Please don't Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Whatever you want from me. I don't have it. <laughs> hey. See, mm, as far as they're concerned, the chief will bring better millions come. So how you bring the millions? Don't worry yourself. It's in your settle. We come on here. So they do. You they do like a baby. Just calm down. I don't know that man. He's not my father. I don't concern you there. Public no know that way they talk. You're a sick bastard. You're a monster. How can you even survive with kidnapping children? Anyhow. You're a monster. Just give it up. Even if you manage to get those things up, you can't get out of here. And what makes you say that? Have you ever asked yourself why we are being tied up? That's because so many try to run away and they get caught. It's not that easy to live here. I can't sit and watch until I get killed or so. We have to act fast and get our parents. So
so Nobody's talking. Hey, I want to leave here. I want to leave I here. Me too, I, want to leave I don't like this place. What do you know you're going to now? Just gonna get out of here. That's it. Please be fast, guy. You use my team. Should be. You see, it is smart. And because of you, I tell you to clients now. Should be. Well, I will show you. Smart. Hmm. Don't you watch like punk? Hmm. Let me say you say you talk or let me say you talk. Not true. Not true. Not true. Don't tell. You don't tell what I wash them too. Huh? Don't do Hmm. Mm -hmm. you? You? Remember? Eh? You the mad? What's it be here? I be want me to repeat himself. Say that man you knock out now, so they watch you now, they knock out for our present.
see you. Hey, they watch them because now your turn next. Yes. I do. And I'm sorry. You're sorry? When were you going to tell me, Jason? When were you going to tell me that I was? That you were Kyra's father? Talk to me! Stop making me feel like I'm going insane! After that dinner, with my parents, the same night that you told me you were raped, I had to go back and reinvestigate. That's when I, I found out that. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I tried to tell you. I tried. You tried? How did you try, Jason? The only thing that you did was to make me fall in love with you. That is all that you did. How can you do this to me, Jason? Tell me how. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I tried to come clean. I tried to, to tell you the truth. Why do you think I stayed back in the States after that business trip? It's because I couldn't bring myself to tell you that I am the monster that is responsible for the child you cannot bring yourself to love. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. It took me five years. Five freaking years to get over the incident. And I can't believe I was going to get married to you. I can't believe that, that I fell in love with the same person that, that, that I hate so much, Jason, really. Look, I know this doesn't make any sense to you, but since that day, I've never been the same, okay? That day shattered me. I am sorry. Shut up! You have no right to talk about that day. You have no right to talk about that night. You know, after you give Kara your blood, I had to get a DNA test done because... because Everything didn't just seem right to me. I mean, so much coincidence, so much similarity, so much everything. Jason! Jason, how can you do this to me, Jason? How can you, how can you do this to me? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I have to get a DNA test. I'm sorry. Take this, I can't take this. No. Don't touch me! Don't! Don't touch me, no one. How can you do this to me, Jason? How can you touch me? I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry
Catherine, come. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. You are free to cry. You can shout, scream. She has no right to get you arrested. She, she was a victim as you were. So, so what's the big deal? I'm coming right there. Just stay put. Wait for me right there. I'm coming to get you out of that place. Jason. Just don't. don't. Jason. Just let it be. Let it be. Dad. This is not happening. It's not done anywhere. Jason cannot fall for some sick bastard actions years back. It's not happening. Let him be. You think he doesn't know this is going to happen? Did you? He came to me. He came here to ask if he should tell the girl before the girl discovers it. Because he knew that the girl would definitely know about it someday. And I'm happy this happened now than any later. Do you know what this would have done to him and his eventual family? Son, it took him a great deal of strength to muster enough courage to face Iruchuku and to tell her. And even greater than to turn himself in. Let him walk the path. Let him walk the path. And if there's anything that we should do for him, is to support his decision. You ain't supporting him if you go there to try to talk him out of it. I hope you know that. <sighs> this is not right. This is not just right. I know. But we have to stand with him. I haven't been fair with Kyra. I feel like I haven't given her enough attention, care that her mother would give her child. I failed. I failed as a mother. Lisa, you wouldn't have known any better. Jason. 
blockchain. Do you think? Do you think Clara would ever forgive me? One thing I know for sure, aside my name, is that she loves you so much. She worships the ground you walk on. Ask yourself, why is it that anytime you push her away, she always finds a way to come back to you? It's because she loves you so much. Don't worry about anything. She's just a child, she'll forget about it. Okay? Everything will be fine. Yeah, right. You should get some sleep. You should get some sleep. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm good. Sure? Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, if you say so. <sighs> good night. Good night. freaking years to dig out the truth they would have dug out since if they have done their job properly this woman is evil but this evil Whew. adoption attempted murder she got some nerves you're not saying anything what you want me to say I'm as surprised as you are. I mean, I knew she hated me. I knew she never liked my existence. I knew I disgusted her so much, but... But being the mastermind of what happened to me nine years ago... Just wow. Get out! Yeah, I need to see her! Get out! Now, get out, Chief! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't touch me! What's that noise? Why do you want to see me? What is it? What the heck is your problem? What? Is this why you got me out? So you can put my mother behind the bars over something she did not do? Is this how much of a bitch you are? Now you listen. If you got anything at all to say concerning this issue, Take it up with the authorities because I'm not the architect of your predicament. You are! You freaking are, Iruchi! Your entire existence is enough to drive me insane! Do you know how, how much oh, the sleepless night mother had crying because she found her father cheated on her with his secretary? You don't know, do you? So that's enough reason for her to want me dead? That's enough reason for her to send those men to kidnap me and my hand them in the way they did? Do you have any idea how I felt? Do you have any idea how I felt? Do you? Of course you don't. Your mother had no right to treat that innocent child the way she did. She had no right. Don't touch me, Uchi. Stop. Uchi, please. Uchi, I'm begging you, please. Please, Uchi, please save my mother. Okay, save her, please. Just, just tell them it's some sort of plot. Tell them it's a, somebody, somebody's doing with it. It's not my mother, okay? She's... She's innocent, Iruchi. She, she can't hold a fly, let alone you. Please, I beg you, please. Please, just save my mother, Iruchi. Please, please, just this once. Let the court decide. Get out. Iruchi! Melissa! Ah! Ah! <laughs>
Officer, what is this? I told you I don't want to see her. Please take me back. Jason, Jason, please. Jason, you can't keep turning your back on me. We need to talk, please. Officer, take me back right now, please. Jason, I had to give your body another name because that's the only way you will come see me. Look, Jason, I'm sorry. I know I fucked up. I know I said the wrong things, the wrong timing, everything. I know I really fucked up, but that's because I was angry. Look, Jason, I have passed through this pain eight years ago of my life and I do not want it to repeat itself again. This can possibly ruin me, please. Very soon, so will your stepmother. Don't you hate me? I'm setting your family too. <laughs> as a witness. No. Come on, you, you can't do that. Yes. No. Yes. I created this mess. I'll fix it. After my father's accident, moving to Netherlands was never part of the plan. But my father and Aunt Patty thought it would be a good idea in order to bring change for me and Kyra. But that wasn't it. There was a bigger reason I had to move. After Jason's trial, 
in which he was found not guilty for the charge against him. He disappeared into thin air. I got nothing on him. Not even his family would tell me about his whereabouts. He needed some space and time to heal. To heal from the unintentional pain I caused him. I totally understand him. My stepmother on the other hand was found guilty on all accounts and is currently serving her full term. The only few good things that have happened over the past years included having my daughter born with her new family. She might not understand now, but eventually she will get to know when she is much older. Her daddy's family spoiled her silly and seeing her smile like that always got my heart constrained. So much of her reminds me of her father. She may have come unwanted and unplanned. But right now, at this moment, she's the best thing life has ever given to me. <laughs> hey, Dad. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, miss you. Miss you. <laughs> Time they say. Heal all wounds. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe you're right. Hmm. If only time will heal him wherever he is. I pray he finds peace and find us someday. Time will tell. Come here. Mm. Let's go in. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> Take it easy, girl. I know that's heavy. There is a pain in my heart. A wound in my soul. But I can't just get it off my mind oh, oh, there is a pain in my heart A wound in my soul oh, 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 Trying to let go but I just get it off my mind oh. 